In light of all the recent shark attacks in the Bahamas, there's been a request for a video to be made on how to avoid shark attacks. I'm Luke Malis, a local charter captain in the Bahamas, and here's a few tips to help you avoid a shark attack. Be aware of your surroundings. Anytime you jump into water, there's an inherent risk of you getting attacked by a shark, whether it's snorkeling off a beach, swimming, free diving, spear fishing, scuba diving, skinny dipping. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. No. Dive with a buddy. Always stay with a buddy when you're diving or snorkeling or just swimming in general, particularly spear fishing. Work is a team. Help your buddy. Watch him from the top. As you're breathing up, he's going down to spear a fish. You watch him. As soon as he spears a fish, you get a good breath. You dive down there. You start poking off the sharks if they come in too close. We all know the term, look before you cross the road. Hey, Mr. Chicken. Why are you crossing the road? Why are you doing it, mate? We all want to know. Well, look before you shoot. When you're down there, you see a fish, you're going down to go and take a shot at him. Look, 360 all around you. Make sure there's no sharks coming in close by before you take a shot. When you take a shot, Again, look 360, look all around you. The sharks creep in so fast. After you hit the fish, you're swimming up. Always spin around 360. <laughs> Keep spinning around 360 the entire ascent when you're coming up. Look for sharks. Be ready to poke them off as they come up. Avoid swimming around marinas, docks where people are cleaning fish, Jimmy! No! Beaches where they're feeding the sharks or other shark feeding sites. And these shark feeding sites are important. They're good for ecotourism in the Bahamas. It's not a bad thing. They, they do their thing. They're making good money on it, bringing good income to the Bahamas. We need to avoid those places. and we just need to just stay away from them. Just don't dive anywhere within two miles of that place. Sharks will typically stay in that area two miles and you don't want to be within that zone. Just let the sharks feed in their own little environment. You go and find a different place. Do your research, be attentive, look about where they might be feeding sharks and just avoid it, just avoid it altogether. Avoid swimming at night or in late evenings. You be careful. This is predominantly when big sharks come into the shallows. They're looking to feed on stingrays, turtles, little skinny dippers swimming along the beach. <laughs> just, just no. Just, just don't. Just don't do it. Avoid murky water. Thank God we're in the Bahamas where we have on average 120 foot visibility, but sometimes you don't always get that in certain locations. Abaco, for example, you get real murky water on an outgoing tide. Try to avoid it. You're looking for trouble. If, it's, if the visibility drops below 50, 60 feet, I personally try to avoid it because you're just asking for trouble. You can't see a shark rushing in on you. Everything happens so quick. You have less time to react. No, just, just no, just don't. Move quick when you hit a fish. <laughs> you spend 20 minutes or more on one spot after you kill the fish, made a ruckus, made, got some blood, some scent going. Sharks will come. That's all it takes is 20 minutes, sometimes less. You keep shooting one fish on a spot, move locations, shoot a fish, move, 
Most of the time you don't run into frisky, frenzying sharks. It's a good way to avoid the situation altogether. When you poke a shark off with your spear, don't poke him in the eyes. Don't poke him in the gills. Don't poke him in the mouth. If you're using a pole spear with a slip tip, take the tip off. Some spears will have a flopper, you can't take it off. You go to poke him in the gills, and it might get caught up in there, and he's gonna run off with the spear, or he's gonna turn back on you and bite you. No, just don't. Only poke a shark around the surrounding areas that he feels threatened by. Poke him around the eyes, around the gills, and around the nose. Sharks do not feel pain. They taste anything that touches their snout, so they taste steel, they don't like it. If they get poked around the eyes, they don't like it. If they get poked around the gills, if I poked you in the throat or in the eye, you wouldn't like it. Hold your fish out of water. You see a lot of guys go down there, they spear a fish, they bring it up, they're sitting underwater, they're messing with it, trying to take the tip out. Hold your fish out of water. Flapping fish emits sounds, will drive a shark crazy, will make them rush in on you real quick. Use a knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a knife. And dispatch your fish. Grab a good dive knife, always have it on you. You should always have it for safety reasons. Always have your dive knife on you. Stab him right in the brain, kill him quick, stop the fish from flapping around. The sound of a fish flapping underwater just drives the sharks crazy and they'll rush in on you. Don't cut fish bones underwater. Every good spear fisherman knows sometimes you have to chum to bring in a good fish. But if you cut through the bones underwater, the sharks hear that serration noise through the bones and they rush in on you high speed. Not good. Pull the fish out of water and saw through the bones if you have to. Don't wear white in the water. White? Didn't somebody tell you this was an all white party? Huh? White represents torn flesh and it is the first color of attraction for a shark to rush in on. Avoid wearing white socks, avoid wearing white t-shirts, white rash guards, white gloves. They love white, especially little white feet. Oh, you don't have fins on to see little white feet kicking? Oh, you're going to die. Avoid too much time on the bottom with a live fish. Guys, go down, spear a fish, stay on the bottom, fight it, try to pull it in, try to pull it a little closer and grab it, pet it a little bit, just, no, no, you're going to die, just, just get out of there, just swim up. Show the sharks who's boss. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, sir, I'm arrested. Oh, oh. Sharks are always more inclined to come in on you and take advantage of you if they think you're weak and vulnerable. Get in the water there, chase down towards them, poke them off with a spear, show your presence, flare up your fins and your body, make it look like you're the aggressor. You're not to be messed with. Don't let them take advantage of you. If you're using a pole spear or a sling with a breakaway system, use a float line. A float line will save you your spear, save you your life in some circumstances. Always use a hit and run method. You dive down with your spear, float line is attached. You hit the fish, you get out of there. Swim up out of there as quick as you can. You hit that fish, it's gonna be flapping, it's gonna be making a bunch of noise. Sharks are gonna be rushing in to try and grab it. You wanna get out of there. You want your, you wanna get to the top, start pulling on him from the top and let your buddy poke up the sharks from there. 